a beacon of love that she is looking for her lover uh, what is implied here is that she may be a virgin who has preserved herself uh, in this tower for a very long time and she is uh, constantly peering out of the uh, out of the the grated window to find her lover um, there seems to be something said uh, maybe even on a subliminal level here it's kind of a whisper uh, but it's pretty apparent I just can't decipher or really tell what it is if somebody else wants to slow it down and do that that would be great but what's implied here is she's looking for she's looking for her lover um, and that light shines through the window and she can't quite handle it uh, the one that she is looking for seems to actually overwhelm her when he arrives and uh, that is the mystical Christ figure and as the light okay well this is a pretty graphic portion of the video but I'm gonna pause here anyway you know it's it is significant <clears throat> this old woman should not be having a menstrual cycle um, but as she is bathed in the light her cycle returns or her fertility is given to her once again upon the arrival of uh, of the man she of her lover of the man she is seeking And, uh, as we see here, we have the uh, female reproductive organ represented in the form of this uh, gate of light through which the mystical Christ figure or the male figure enters, which represents the, uh, uh, the, uh, the marriage or the consummation. And here we have the dancer again. All right, uh, we have a bunch of drone figures, drone-like, frozen, lifeless inhabitants of the existing world system, all brainwashed by the sorcerer and, uh, and their media tool. The divine Christ figure rises out from the midst of them uh, and uh, issues forth some sort of a uh, detonation uh, which has a blast wave that annihilates these figures. represents the old order being done away with and the fleeing of the controllers and what we have here actually is the the child that we saw previously in the arms uh, dead in the arms of its mother uh, its body is being lifted up uh, in Sufi garb uh, for those who aren't familiar with Sufism, uh, it is a, a mystical school of uh, of Islam. So we have the mystical Christ and the uh, the mystical uh, Sufism of Islam uh, being represented here. So what seems to be implied is that the uh, <clears throat> the uh, mysteries that underpin Christianity and Islam. Uh, will take precedent in the uh, in this new age or this new world order that seems to be what is implied by the makers of the video so those those lines of thinking will take dominance over the old forms of the religion which would be thought of um, in this school of thought as profane the the old forms here again we have the dancer <coughs> the Lord of the dance um, I believe it's Shiva I don't know why there's a dot on the forehead but I think it's Shiva anyway um, the mask here appears to be of a serpent nature or a reptile uh, let's continue on now it takes the form of the bear and now the eagle okay so we had the dragon the bear and the eagle and you remember at the beginning when I pointed out that the black dragon beside the uh, back back in the classroom when I pointed out that the black dragon beside the uh, the image of the brain hemispheres uh, could have been China and the reason why I 
said that is because uh, this portion of the video we see the dragon, the bear, and the eagle represented uh, so it seems. And I believe those are China, uh, the dragon, Russia, the bear, and the United States of America, the eagle. And as uh, Shiva, the destroyer, uh, uh, the lord of the dance, performs the dance, uh, I'm, I'm I'm interpreting that as war between those three powers and that single figure um, wearing all three of those masks would imply that 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 the war on all sides is being fought by all sides with a singular intent uh, or the intent behind the figure Shiva or associated with him Okay, and now we have uh, this uh, devil or Mephistopheles type figure. Uh, I'm, I would refer to this as the devil gate because beneath this head there is a gate. And the divine Christ figure, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the mystical Christ figure uh, enters, or I should say exits the cave through the devil gate. So he enters into the world with his eyes open through the devil gate and we clearly see the uh, the lotus flowers once again representing the uh, the new sun or the rebirth of the new sun or the new order having come to fruition him having come through the devil gate would represent uh, the breaking of taboos the uh, um, the shatter the shattering of the perceptions of what is um, of what is good and evil um, in the eyes of the religious establishment. Uh, of course, the re religious establishment, uh, seeing the advent of this figure or his arrival uh, as being of the devil, because he comes through the devil gate. <clears throat> He opens his eyes and stares at the sun, as you'll see in a moment. His back is turned to the religious establishment. He does not face it or pay attention to it. He turns its back on it. And the, and the uh, religious establishment, in this case Christianity in particular, crumbles. Alright, now we have the sun issuing its rays and a great fireball or meteorite coming and or meteor rather coming and striking the capstone of the uh, pyramid of the old world order of hierarchy and demolishing it the other pyramids fail as well and that is the end of my interpretation. I hope you got something out of it.